Harrison, like I said, I wish I could say it's all me. Harrison has a lot to do with this. This workshop that he's about to run for you helps people go out and do exactly what the workshop's called and drop bombs this weekend. When reps sit in this workshop, a lot of them will go out and sell three to 4,000 or more their first, their first weekend on the job because they drop an ultimate or they drop a couple signature sets, they drop a few homemakers. You know, I'll tell you this, this workshop that he's about to teach you, you will accidentally sell homemakers because of what you learn <laughs> right now. Like he's going to teach you how to sell the ultimate signature, and you're going to accidentally end up selling the homemaker because of what you learn. Does that make sense? Um, so so he has a handout for you. Um, I want you to dig in and take notes. After that, I'm going to help you make phone calls. My goal is that you get, you get another 5 to 10 lined up this morning. Um, I'm going to meet with you all one-on-one, -on -one, review your schedule, talk about who you're seeing, make sure you're ready to rock and roll. We're going to get you supplies. I'm going to email out some paperwork. We're going to get all the admin stuff out of the way, and then we'll get, we're going to dig into the good stuff. Um, cool. So, um, Harrison has sold about two hundred thousand dollars with the Cutco. What's your exact career sales, Harry? It's like one eighty nine now or something. One hundred eighty nine thousand dollars. So, just to give you an idea, Harrison's made almost a hundred thousand dollars in income selling Cutco knives over the last three summers. <coughs> he was a branch manager with us. He was an assistant manager the, the, the year that we won our national championship and helped us bring home that national championship. Um, and he is one of the more, most talented reps I've gotten a chance to work with and train. Um, Harrison last, num last summer was an All-American scholarship winner, top 50, out of roughly 20,000 or more college students. This guy is the real deal. And this workshop is awesome. Um, Harrison's average, Harrison, what's your average order? Uh, like over 500 bucks now. So average, his average customer spends over $500 with him. What's your closing percentage? 85. 85%. He does 10 demos, he's going to sell them at least 8. The average sale is going to be 500 bucks. So last week, you sold what? Was it 28, 2800? And he makes half of what he sells, which was $1,400 in income last week. I tell you that to give, to give him some clout, and so you understand who's running this workshop, how awesome the material is, and why reps pop so big after this workshop. So dig in, take notes, and Harrison, go ahead and take it away. Let's give Harrison a big round of applause. All right, I'm actually going to have you guys move around for me so that we can get a little bit closer to everybody here. So I need everybody to move up here, and then I'm going to start handing out these handouts, okay? I need you guys to make like a line of sight that'll camera for me so that we're not blocking that while I'm doing this because it's going to get out to everybody, okay? Go ahead and pull everything up. So you guys, this is the handout. Um, do me a favor, pass that around for me. Okay. Go ahead, the next one. Just dropping the ground for some extras, okay? Um, so guys, this is this handout. You know, for the most part. Uh, most of this stuff is just so that you guys don't have to take a bunch of notes on certain portions, but I really want you guys to be paying attention to me whenever I'm talking, okay? So whenever I'm talking, I want you guys to look up and pay attention, all right? Otherwise, you now I'll make sure that you guys highlight, get all the information. This is really just so that you guys can look over it later. Does that make sense? Cool. Okay, so number one thing, guys, um, is how many of you guys have seen somebody or know somebody that already owns Cutco? Okay, perfect. So if you guys haven't tried Cutco yet, Cutco is fucking awesome, okay? I mean, it's literally the best stuff out there. Like, if we're just talking in terms of, like, sheer quality, Cutco is the best stuff that's out there, hands down, no questions about it, okay? So remember, guys, that, you know, when we're talking about things like Henkels and Wustoff and Shun, you know, one of the reasons why those sets are so expensive is because, you know, let's just take Wustoff, for example, right? It goes through distribution, you know, manufacturing, processing, you know, then it gets shipped to the states where it gets received, you know, it goes through wholesale, retail, you know, warehousing, and then it goes, you know, on the market, and then when the Sonoma gets it, what do they do? They raise up the price again, right? They mark it up. So remember, guys, when we see, you know, a $3,000 price tag for a set of loose off, you know, what we assume is this pristine quality, craftsmanship, materials, like, don't get me wrong, guys, there's definitely some of that. But the large majority of that is, you know, everybody that comes in between. So the great thing about Cutco is that we go directly from our factory straight to your home. So it's factory direct pricing. So it's not insanely expensive, guys, but it's definitely not cheap either, as you guys know kind of thing. Okay? So that's one of the things as far as, like, value goes that 
you know, is one of the biggest things with Cutco. So make sure that you guys tell your customers that, okay? Um, realize, guys, as well, like, if we're just talking about a set of Shun, you know, the Shun set is, their, like, their ultimate set compared to ours. It's a 37-piece set, so it's very, very similar, basically. You know, their 37-piece set is about 3700 bucks on sale, basically, so it's about 100 bucks per knife, okay? So if Cutco is twice the product, you know, twice the quality, twice the value, you know, our ultimate set should cost, like, close to 7000 bucks. okay? Because Ryan told you guys to price the ultimate set yet? No. no. Okay. So you guys can jot this down if you want to. I didn't write that on there. Our ultimate set, guys. Our ultimate set. It's not even like half the price. Okay. It's not even half the price of the shot set. Okay. It's actually only twenty three forty nine for the ultimate set. The ultimate set's only twenty three forty nine. And guys, what we're talking about is we're talking about breaking twenty three forty nine down over five months interest free. So really, what you're talking about, guys, when you're looking at everything, is four hundred and seventy bucks. Basically, it's like five hundred bucks today that they have to make a decision on for literally the rest of their life in their kitchen, okay? I mean, we're talking 500 bucks today, you know? I can think of probably a lot of people that you guys are gonna be seeing that probably spent 500 bucks yesterday on their car, their kid's graduation, birthday parties, I mean, I can guarantee it, okay? Especially with some of the people that you're gonna be seeing. I mean, I know, the, you know, most of the PRs that she has come from and stuff like that. So, a couple things. The first thing, value builders, value builders, okay? You guys can definitely take some notes under this section. Um, say sets as many times as possible, okay? So, you guys, there is a thing, okay? Here's why you want to sell sets. Number one, I would write this down. Why do you want to sell sets? Number one, the customer has every tool for every job they need, okay? So, if you guys go and see somebody that has an ultimate set, they're going to be probably more jacked than you are about Cutco, straight up, okay? Because they've had it for 20 years, and they love their set of Cutco. And when I say love, I mean they love their set of Cutco, kind of a thing. Okay, so number one is they just have every tool for every job. So they're just a lot happier. You know, they never have to look for what tool they're going to use. You know, they have to like think about it, that kind of stuff, right? Number two, number two, since they have every tool in the set, right, their set naturally stays sharper longer, right? Because if you're using the right tool for the right job, that's part of the thing that helps your set stay, set stay sharper longer, okay? And number three, number three, guys, when you get a set, when you get a set, you just don't have to think about purchasing a knife for your kitchen ever again. I mean, whether it's the homemaker set, signature set, ultimate set, I mean, the only thing you ever have to consider in the future is whether or not you want to upgrade. And that's pretty much it. You know, other than that, you know, you're done with your kitchen forever. I mean, realize that, guys. That's why, like, you know, Hayes, like, all of our top reps, that's why, you know, when they walk out of an appointment and they've sold, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000, like, we don't feel bad about that. You know, because we know that that customer is going to have that set for the next 20, 30, 40 years that they're going to be cooking for the rest of their life. I know that five grand now is going to save them a lot more than five grand in the long run of those next 20, 30, 40 years, okay? So make sure that, number one, um, when you're talking about sets, make sure that you say sets as many times as you possibly can, okay? So when you're on the uh, features and benefits page, everybody know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mrs. Jones, all of our sets of Cutco feature a wedge lock handle. All of our sets of Cutco are dishwasher safe. All of our sets of Cutco feature double D edge. All of our sets of Cutco have 448 high stainless steel. Everybody see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Say sets as many times as you possibly can. So that's the first section that you want to say sets on. The second section that you want to say sets on, okay, is the forever guarantee. Okay, Mrs. Jones, all of our sets of Cutco come with a forever guarantee. All of our sets of Cutco come with a forever performance. All of our sets of Cutco come with a forever sharpness. All of our sets of Cutco come with a forever replacement from misuse or abuse. Okay, does everybody see what I'm saying there? Okay, <coughs> you just want to say sets as many times as you possibly can. Like, I literally challenge you guys to say sets 20 to 25 times by the end of the forever guarantee page. Okay? And you'll know, guys, by the way, you'll know if you're doing a good job of, like, saying sets because they should ask you well, after you're done with the guarantee, hey, do I have to buy it in a set? That's how you know you did a good job, okay, is if they ask you, like, hey, you know, Charlie, do I have to buy it in a set? I don't think, no, Mrs. Jones, you don't have to buy it in a set. You get whatever you want, okay? Mm -hmm. But our sets are a way better value because of the four things that we listed above, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how you handle that. Does that make sense? So... Um, you want to stay expensive as many times as you possibly can, okay? And like I said, you know you did a good job if you get to the guarantee portion and they ask you, like, hey, do I need to buy a set, Felix? No, Mrs. Jones, you don't have to buy a set. But most people get a set because of these four things, okay? So you can get whatever you want, though. I'm just going to show you the sets first and, you know, we can always look at some other stuff later. Cool? She's like, okay. Right, you just said So, here's why everyone invests in Cutco. I would write that down. Um, that's like my opening line to talking about the forever guarantee, okay? By the way, guys, like just to branch off talking about the forever guarantee for a second, that is one of the thing, like one of the biggest things that sells Cutco. Okay, 
I mean, literally the biggest thing that sells Cutco. Okay, go off on the Forever Guarantee. I mean, go off on it. Get jacked. Okay, I mean, literally that is the reason why people buy Cutco because they are going to have number one the highest quality stuff they can have over the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years that they just don't have to think about. You know, it's just a one and done kind. Of, I write that down too. I say that a lot. Mrs. Jones, it's just a one and done kind of a deal with Cutco. You just never have to think about buying anything else for your kitchen ever again. It's just a one and done kind of a deal with Cutco. You just never have to think about buying anything else for the kitchen again. Okay? So here's why everybody invests in Cutco. Here's why everybody invests in Cutco. Because realize, guys, Cutco is an investment. Okay? Cutco is an investment. Are you, are you, guys, are you guys all in high school? Are you guys in college yet? College. College. Well, cool. are you guys taking finance classes yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you define as an investment? What is it What is involved? Do you know? In a financial investment? Yeah. Um, what, does it, what does it usually take? It takes money. It takes money. Income. Um, What's the big thing that you have to give up? Um, the risk, take, right? Risk, yeah. Safety, risk. Safety, right. Yeah. So the risk involved, right? So a perfect investment, guys, is something where you take no risk, right? And your money actually appreciates over time, right? So Cutco is the perfect investment, right? It is the only thing that you use every single day for the rest of your life that's guaranteed forever. And does Cutco appreciate in value over time or does it depreciate in value? Appreciate. It appreciates in value, right? That's out of the ordinary. Okay, for something that you use every single day for the rest of your life, that's guaranteed forever, Cutco is literally the perfect investment, okay? The perfect investment. So that's why everybody invests in a set of Cutco, okay? <coughs> Did everybody get that? Cool. So, as far as the, uh, everybody know what I say when I was talking about the 15-day guarantee, the tryout guarantee? Okay. I want you guys to start calling that the husband guarantee. Okay, there's a little section right here, so I want you guys to jot some, down some notes right here. But I want you guys to start calling the 15-day guarantee the husband guarantee. Okay, how many of you guys are gonna be seeing like mostly, um, mostly like housewives? You know, whenever. You, okay, so like that's pretty much how I do most of my appointments as well, guys. So this is very, very important. Okay, so you want to start calling the tryout guarantee the husband guarantee. Okay, call it the husband guarantee. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. This is our husband guarantee. This is our husband guarantee. Basically, what it allows you to do, basically what it allows you to do is try out Cutco. Basically what it allows you to do is try out Cutco. This is like the most notes you're gonna take in this guy, so just write back and bear with me. Okay. So basically it allows you to Try out Cutco in your home, in your home, with your cooking styles, in your home, with your cooking styles, with your husband, okay, with your husband, your home, your cooking styles, with your husband, so that you guys can make an educated decision together, so that you guys can make an educated decision together. about whether or not you like Cutco. So, about whether or not you like Cutco. So, calm. What most people do, or what most of my customers do, what most people do, or what most of my customers do, is put down, is put down a one-fifth deposit, is put down a one-fifth deposit to try out any of our sets, to try out any of our sets. So that way, so that way, you can try it out, you can try it out, for 15 business days or three weeks at the least amount possible. For the next 15 business days or three weeks at the least amount possible. In the case that you don't like it, in the case that you don't like your set, 
I'll personally come over. I'll personally come over and help you pack it up and send it back. So there is zero risk involved. I'll personally come over and help you pack it up so there's zero risk involved. Now, Mrs. Jones, I know this one's long, guys. Now, Mrs. Jones, in the case that your husband doesn't like it, in the case that your husband doesn't like it, okay, this is the kicker, okay, Mrs. Jones, in the case that your husband doesn't like it, you can send him back and we'll give you a refund on him instead. Yeah. <laughs> and then you smile. Okay. So, like, Mrs. Jones, in the case that your husband doesn't like it, you can send him back and we'll give you a refund on him instead. Okay? Everybody loves that one. I've never had somebody that's just like give me like a really mean face. Okay? <laughs> Everybody loves that one. You can send him back and we'll give you a refund on him instead. So, everybody wants to get a refund on their husband every now and then. Okay. Alright. So then after that, right, I know that was long, guys, so like I said, that's like the longest thing that you're gonna have to write down. Okay? After that, right, after that, like I said, you're gonna get the whole like, oh, you know, Felix, do I have to buy in a set? No, Mrs. Jones, that's what I have right there. You know, no Mrs. Jones. Um, what I always tell people is if you can swing the down payments, the sets are definitely just a way better value. So I show this to people first. You know, if I show you the sets, you still want to look at getting cold pieces, we can always do that as well. Okay? So, this right here, the cutlery sets, this is cutlery sets. This is like the meat and potatoes in the demo, okay? So, number one thing, we have a small, medium, and a large, okay? There's no longer the homemaker, the signature, and the ultimate set. We're gonna be like every other company that's out there today. We're gonna have a small, a medium, and a large. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So, by the way, guys, the goal over when you're going over and presenting the sets, okay, this is the reason why me and Brian printed this out is because you guys can just literally stick this in your white book and start using it like today kind of a thing on your first point, especially with your people that you're going to be your best people first, okay? So the whole point of this, guys, is a couple things. Number one, okay, obviously it's going to help you more sell more sets. That's the point of it. Okay. Number two is really the main thing is to make the sets look as small as possible. Okay, making the sets look as small as possible. And number three, selling them on certain tools in the set so that they really choose whichever set they, they think is going to be the best value for them. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. So, Mrs. Jones, you know, there's three main sets. You know, there's a small, a medium, and a large. Okay, there's a small, medium, and large. So. I would underline, highlight, whatever that next like bold statement, you know, ask lots of questions. Okay, ask lots of questions. Okay, this is something that you uh, that you guys probably aren't familiar with, but you should be asking lots of questions. Like, you know when you know the answer, but you like want to ask somebody to help them out so that they can answer. That's exactly how you want to do it for your customers, okay? So like Mrs. Jones, do you ever peel or do you cut the tops off of strawberries? Instead of, oh Mrs. Jones, you peel and cut the top off of strawberries, so you'll use this. Does that make sense? Cool. So ask lots of questions. Number two is just cook more, okay? Is just cook more. Like if you guys aren't cooking right now, like that's the only way that you're gonna get more knowledge about more knowledgeable about cut code in the kitchen. So just start cooking more, okay? Or at least become more knowledgeable. That's like the third thing, you know, become more knowledgeable in the kitchen. Realize that you're like the knife expert now. You know, you're the one that people are gonna come to that knows everything about knives, cutlery, cookware, flatware, I mean literally everything. So become more knowledgeable about not only cut code, but everything else that's out there as well too. Okay? So as far as the small set goes, guys, as far as the small set goes, even remember, this is not the homemaker set, this is a small set. So Mrs. Jones, I want you guys to watch my facial reactions when I go through this too as well, okay? So Mrs. Jones, this is our homemaker set or our small set. I mean, it's only like seven knives, two forks, and a spatula. It's enough to get most people by if you're like trying to scrape by in the kitchen, Mrs. Jones. So this is really like our most basic set. It's like our, you know, super simple starter set kind of thing, Mrs. Jones. But it's really like the one for people that don't really like cooking a lot much or like kind of hate cooking. You know, they cook like once or twice a week kind of a thing. Um, people that get this set, guys, that's like, you know, my intro to that set, okay? People that get this set, guys, you can highlight that or underline it. It's at the end there. Um, teachers. Teachers love the homemaker set, okay? Teachers love the homemaker set. People who are like, oh, Joseph, I don't cook, right? I don't cook. Okay, those are people that own homemaker sets. Our homemaker set is seven knives, two forks, and a spatula. We're talking about things that people walk every single day, kind of thing, okay? That is literally like our most basic set, all right? Um, Non-cooks. People that say like, oh, I'm a basic cook, or like, I'm a pantry chef. Go ahead and just grab a seat. And then, oh, grab two seats, and then grab those two on the floor right there, 
and it's already been for if you guys just like split this one. Perfect. Alright, Sydney, can you move like right up here for me? Just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So People who are like, oh, I basic cook. Like, how many of you guys are like, oh, I'm a pantry chef. Like, I just kind of reach in the, those are people that don't come make for sets, okay? Mm -hmm. It also comes with serves for eight. Um, I would jot this down because I don't have this on the sheet somewhere, but let me teach you guys the table knife rule really quick, okay? This is called a table knife rule, all right? I would jot this down. So the table knife rule, okay? Here's how you sell a lot of table knives, okay? This is Jones. The table knife rule, usually we say the rule of two. So let's say they have a family of four, okay? So they have a family of four, right? Mrs. Jones, since you have a family of four, you're going to have four on the dinner table that night and four in the dishwasher. So you at least need a set of eight. You know, that's called the rule of two. If you know the entertain, because you've been asking lots of questions, right? So if you know the entertain, right, you do the rule of three instead. You do the rule of three instead. So Mrs. Jones, you need a set of four for you guys, and you have a set of four for the dishwasher, and then you need a set of four that's extra for when you do your entertaining and stuff like that. Does that make sense? Cool. So we just come out and say, um, so what August asked questions about whether or not they entertain. So how do we bring up the, the, the table knives? Table knives. How do we bring so up? when you talk about it, you see how it's the serves for eight right there? Mm -hmm. So right there is where I bring it up. So Mrs. Jones, our six set or our small set comes as serves for eight. Um, so what that means, Mrs. Jones, is that you have eight of the little guys on the bottom. So we usually do that because, like, Mrs. Jones, you like yeah, your family of four, right? You should wash your four and then you do it. That's the rule two. That's the rule two. And if we find out they entertain, we can bring up the rule yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. So if you're like, if you know that they entertain beforehand, you can just bring that up and set it up. What's the rule of three include? How many knives? It's just three times however many people in the family. Okay. So it's just basically two times however many people or three times however many people in the family. Okay. So if they have family of five, right, and they do the rule of three, that means they need 15 table knives. Okay. Okay. If they need to do the rule of two, that means they need 10 table knives. Okay? What they can also help you do is sell people on certain sets, right? Because they know how many table knives they need in that set. Okay? So, number two, the medium set. Guys, I'll be perfectly upfront with you. My entire demo is based off of selling signature sets. I sell more signature sets than anything else out there. Okay? The signature set is the best freaking set that's out there. Okay? I mean, we used to, so guys, here's what the deal was. We used to just have the small set and then the large set, okay? And obviously there's a pretty big gap between those two, right? So about four years ago, we took a poll from like all our customers. And we're like, hey, what are like the top three or four customer recommended pieces that you guys added on for the last 20 years, okay? And then we made a set of it, all right? So that's our medium set now. That's why it's our most popular set nowadays, okay? So the first thing, guys, is it's our medium set, right? So here's why you want to phrase it. Our medium set, does anybody have a blue book with them? No. Yeah, all right. Our medium set, guys. Okay, our medium Actually, set yeah, includes yeah. perfect. Our medium set includes our basic tools plus our top three customer recommended tools. I would write that down. Okay, that's the key phrase to make the set look really small. Okay, so all of our basic tools plus things plus our top three customer recommended tools. Okay, so we are on this page right now. All right. So it's your basic tools. So this is the homemaker set. This is the homemaker set, right? So when you flip, okay, when you flip to the signature, this is really key, so eyes up, okay, eyes up, eyes up, all right? When you flip to the signature set, Mrs. Jones, so this is our basic set, right, this is our basic set. Our medium set is our top three custom recommended tools plus our super shears. Do you see how much smaller that looks? That's the key, okay? So it's our top three cool tools plus our custom recommended tools as well, Mrs. Jones. So the first one is your hearty slicer right here, Mrs. Jones, and that's the one you use for, like, stuff out in the grill. So what's your husband's name? Okay, so you have a grill out with you? All right, that's the one that he'll use for like stuff on the grill. So cutting through the rack of ribs, you know, the back of rotisserie chicken. Um, what you'll use it for, Mrs. Jones, is that tough stuff that you're avoiding at the grocery store, like sweet potatoes, uh, and, like anything from the squash family, Mrs. Jones, like that kind of stuff. Um, that's where you pretty much used to cut that stuff. The Hardy Slicer, guys, has so much weight to it. That thing is awesome. You know, most people tend to grab their chef knife whenever they want to cut up things like watermelons, you know, honeydew, squashes, stuff like that. And that's part of the reason why their chef knives and stuff like that dole out so quickly, because realize all that stuff is really, really hard. So if you have the hardy slicer, it'll make sure it protects a lot of the other tools this stuff too. Cool? So that's the hardy slicer, okay? The second one is the cheese knife, okay? The cheese knife. The cheese knife. The cheese knife is probably my favorite piece of cut care that we make, guys. Okay, the cheese knife is probably my favorite piece of cut care that we make. I would write this down, it's called a dense or sticky foods knife. I don't think I have that one there. It's called a dense or sticky foods knife as well. So it's good for anything, up, like cheeses, apples, potatoes, okay? Cheeses, apples, potatoes, stuff like that. It's good for cheeses, apples, potatoes, stuff like that. 
Okay, you know how like when you guys go through a cheese block, it gets stuck like halfway through? Okay, so the holes are there. The holes are there so it creates less friction and less suction on the blade. So that's when you, you cut through stuff, but instead of sticking your starch with a cheese knife, it won't stick to the blade anymore. Cool? So, you can also use it um, as a beer ball opener, which is awesome. So it's literally like a total hors d'oeuvres knife, all right? So this knife is probably like one of my favorite knives. It's probably the most popular knife I've ever made. So it's not just for cheese. Realize that, guys. Okay? Um, the last one, the last gun, guys, um, is our smaller chopper, or our petite santofu. Our smaller chopper, our petite santofu. So we're on the second page of your, uh, your handout, guys, at this point. All right? Very top. So petite santofu, all right? And this is Jones. This is the petite santofu with a small chopper. Um, you know, frankly, Mrs. Jones, you're going to use this for the same things that you're just using your chef knife for already. Um, but most people that I know, Mrs. Jones, they don't tend to grab the biggest knife in their set whenever they want to cut up anything, right? So this one, Mrs. Jones, has a smaller handle like the rest of our other knives do. So you'll just be more apt to grab and use it whenever you want to cut something that's super small. So you guys know when like mom does like fresh herbs or like onions, mushrooms, like saute them in a frying pan. That's what most people use this guy for. Just like little quick small stuff and they don't want to pull the big one and do something small like that. Does that make sense? So that's what that guy is for, okay? So, last thing, Mrs. Jones, this is also your smallest set that includes our super shears, Mrs. Jones. And like I showed you earlier, those things are awesome. The reason why they come inside of the block, Mrs. Jones, is it's kind of like having an alarm system on your block for your shears. That way, if you're used to your kids taking your shears and running off with them, you can always see whenever they disappear out of the block, so you can go back and tra track them and chase them down kind of a thing. Cool? Now, it does come with a service for 10, Mrs. Jones, okay? It does come with a service for 10, okay? That means they have 10 table knives on the bottom. Now, when you move up to the signature set, you have the option of the steak knives as well, okay? And I don't think I have this down on your, on your handout, so I'll write this down. Guys, the steak knives are freaking awesome, okay? They are so legit, all right? We came out with them about, we came out with them about a year ago. We used to have people that would buy eight trimmers and use them as steak knives, okay? That's why we came out with the steak knives, okay? That's part of the reason, at least, all right? So it's got a rounded tip, so now, you know, people can't poke themselves, or like kids can't poke themselves kind of thing. But these... Well, literally, okay, a signature set retail, I would wrap, jot this down to you. A signature set retail is $16.99. Uh, 16 $16.99. Okay. The one with the steak knives is $19.87. Okay. So, if you want to increase your CPO, sell more steak knives, right? Number two, guys, is that a steak knife is just one of those things where, like, Sometimes I'll go to some people's houses and I show them the table knife. They're just like, ah, that's not really what I was expecting as far as a steak knife goes. Like, I'm in the market for steak knives. That's just not what I was expecting. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I get that a lot. That's why we have our steak knife, right? How much did you say it was with the steak knife? 1987. 1987. So it's almost like literally a $300 difference, okay, when you add on the steak knives to the set. So it'll help your CPO. Hmm? Ten. Yep. Ten. Ten. So that was my question. Um, uh, so instead of the table knives, it'd be steak knives. Bingo. Yeah. Um, and by the way, guys, those only fit. Okay, those only fit in the signature blocks and above. Okay. Steak knives. Yeah. I mean, they can fit the homemaker set if we finagle it, but it's just kind of weird, and we have to like do something different. So I mean, they can get the steak knives, but they're really meant for the signature set above. Cool. Any other questions, guys? I want to try to like pick up at the very end. Okay. <coughs> so if you have a question, just write it down. All right. So once again, guys, remember, this is a small set, right? Then when you flip, right, that's the flip, okay? So remember, you want to try to make this look as small as possible because otherwise, this is the full flip. See how much bigger that looks? Okay. Then, if you flip the ultimate set, right, this is how big the ultimate set looks. Do you want to do that? No. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just like, oh my gosh, so many pieces, right? So that's why when we talk about the signature, or the small set, right, this is our basic tools, right? Our medium set comes with our basic tools, which is basically everything that you guys see from here to here, plus our top three custom recommended tools and our shears. That's why I put like that. Okay. Our large set, guys, or our complete set, all right, all you have to do is you literally just fold it open like that. And that's the large set. That's everything else that's included in the large. Okay. So it's all of our basic tools plus all of our custom recommended tools as well, too. Does that make sense? So I would, write, I would highlight that on um, the large set. I think I wrote that down. Um, it's all of our basic tools. I think it's the third sentence there. It's all of our basic tools plus all your customer recommended tools. Okay? All your basic tools plus all your customer recommended tools. Never call this the uh, ultimate set. Like, completely, like, erase that from your mind forever. Okay? Call it the large set, the large set, or the complete set. Okay? The ultimate set just makes it sound so big, too. Okay? Call it the large set or the complete set. The other thing, too, the other thing, okay? That next part... Okay, that next part is very, very key to selling any set. Okay? Because it completely mixes the blocks of, block of objection. 
so that I know it looks like I would have to take a crane to drop this set into your kitchen, Mrs. Jones, but all of our Cutco sets fit on a standard size sheet of paper. So anywhere you can fit a sheet of paper, you can fit a set of Cutco, Mrs. Jones. Okay, because you'll get that a lot, like, oh, that looks huge. I, yeah, Mrs. Jones, I know it looks huge, and it looks like I would have to take a crane to drop your kitchen. I mean, literally, anywhere you can fit a sheet of paper, or this book, you can fit a set of Cutco. Cool? So anywhere you can fit a sheet of paper, or this book, Mrs. Jones, you can fit a set of Cutco right there. Cool? And that's our large set, guys. Our large set still fits on like a nine size sheet of paper. All right? So, um, as far as our large set goes, right, it's all of our basic tools plus all of our customer recommended tools. Um, if you do like cooking, Mrs. Jones, if you do like to cook, I can say with 100% conviction that this is the best set for people that like to cook, okay? Like I said, guys, if you see somebody that already has an uh, ultimate set or a complete set or a large set, whatever you want to call it, okay? If you see somebody that already has that set, okay, you're going to find out how many people love cooking, okay? It is the best set for you that likes to cook, okay? All my happiest customers are people that own ultimate sets or complete sets, all right? So, the reason why is a couple of different things, okay? And I'm going to talk about that here. By the way, guys, once again, we're trying to make this set look really small, okay? So this next section is very key, where we talk about the five main groups of knives, okay? So that's how you make the set look really small, all right? Mrs. Jones, the complete set, I know it looks huge, but it's really just five main groups of knives that we put together and make it a little bit easier on you in the kitchen. So your first group is your everyday knives. That's things like your cheese knife, you know, your paring knife, your tomato knife, which is the trimmer, right? Your second group is the veggie knives. Those are things like your shantoku and your chef knife from earlier. And usually like I'll kind of point while I'm going through this, right? Your next one is your meat knife. So you have things like your bony knife and your carvers from earlier, right? Then you have your breads and your cake knives, Mrs. Jones. So you have like your slicer, you have your spatula spreader, that kind of stuff. And the last group, Mrs. Jones, is like your hearty slicer and then like your other grilling tools as well, like the melon knife, that kind of stuff. So like I said, Mrs. Jones, it's really just five makers and knives we kind of put together and make it as easy as you or easy on you as possible. So it does come with serves for 12, Mrs. Jones. It does come with serves for 12 in our set, all right? So it's great for families that have multiple people who cook, okay? This is, uh, I would go ahead and highlight these. These are very key points, okay? It's great for families that have multiple people who cook, so you never have to fight or wait to use pieces. Realize, guys, that in the homemaker set, there's only one chef knife. If somebody wants to cut up vegetables, two people can't cut vegetables with a homemaker set. All right, so that's why a lot of people get some of the larger sets, because if you have one than two people that are cooking in the kitchen, you need to have a couple more tools that everybody can do different jobs, all right? So, you never need to upgrade down the road. You never need to upgrade down the road, okay? Think about that for a second, okay? This is literally like, you guys know what, how much people spend on a kitchen remodel nowadays? Oh, wow. oh my gosh, more than that. Yeah, like the average remodel nowadays is like 40, 50, 60 grand kind of thing, okay? Yeah, it's just like 10 grand. Yeah, I mean, cabinets are 10 grand, grand countertops add another five, they're at 15 already, you know? Um, and that's on a low end, I mean, on a very low end, okay? So realize, guys, Cutco is like having a traveling, all right? Having like a traveling kitchen upgrade, right? You never have to think about replacing your knives ever again. If they have a complete set, there's like almost literally no extra tools that they could necessarily get to add to their set. You know, that's why people are so happy with it, because they had every tool they would ever need, okay? So you never need to upgrade down the road, okay? They're like literally, I mean, you're done with your kitchen forever. You just, I mean, that, you never think about spending money ever again in your kitchen, and you're just done. That's it. Cool? Uh, the uh, last thing, the last thing. It's great if you do any family get-togethers or any type of entertaining, okay? If you family get-togethers, any type of entertaining, okay? The ultimate set, the complete set is really what they need, all right? Last but not least, it's the best value, okay? Last but not least, it's the best value. You know, they save the most money by getting the complete set in the long run. All of our sets, realize, I don't think this is on here, guys, but I think Brian probably told you, all of our sets, guys, are generally discounted by the company 10 to 20% off before we even give them a discount as well, too. Okay? So that's why you're going to try to give them inside of the set. That's why we sell a lot of sets, too. Cool? So that's our complete set, Mrs. Jones. So then what you do, right, once you're done with all that, so now that you showed her the three main sets, right? Now that you showed her the three main sets, you should ask her. Okay, Mrs. Jones? So between the three main sets, between the small, right, between the medium, and between the large, which one of the sets do you think is going to be the best value for you? Okay? And you just ask her. Right? And then she's just going to pick. Okay? And they're going to say a couple of different things. Oh, it depends on the price. You know, by the way, you guys, you haven't really told them what comes in the set yet. Okay? You just told them about the three main pieces, which is okay. Okay? Um, so... You need a couple things. One, uh, the price. One, I don't really know what's in the basic set. Okay, so you guys see the next thing. Like, I'm not sure down there. You guys see what we're talking about? I'm not sure. Either blank or blank. That's like Harrison. I'm not sure. I would either get the signature set or the basic set. But what comes in the basic set? All right. 
Now what you do, right, is you switch to your names and uses. Okay? So you switch your names and uses. So once you go back, right, to the homemaker set, you just literally open your white book back up and start the pairing knife. Okay? So Mrs. Jones, as far as the tools coming in basic set, right? This next part that I'm going to go over, okay, I want you guys to use your white book. I want you guys to go back in your white book and highlight what you personally think are the two or three main uses for that tool that you want to talk about. You do not want to give her 25 uses for the trimmer because then what's going to happen? Yeah, she's going to just think about the trimmer and then she's going to be like, okay, I can use a trimmer for everything. Let me just get a trimmer and be done with it. I can use it for everything for the rest of my life. That's not the case, okay? So you want to give her one or two main uses for that tool. All right, and what I'm going to teach you guys is called bridging pieces really quick, okay? So, for the paring knife, okay, it's like, Mrs. Jones, do you ever do the tops of strawberries, or do you peel more like fruits and vegetables, stuff like that? Oh, uh, you do more peeling? Okay, this, this is like your peeling knife. It's not good for like trimming, so that's why we have our trimmer. So, you ever do like tomatoes or cucumbers, or do you more like lemons, limes, oranges, that kind of stuff? Oh, you do lemons, limes, oranges? Cool, so this is like your small fruits knife, Mrs. Jones. But it's not great for spreading, that's why we have our spatula spreader. You guys see what I'm saying? You guys see what I'm doing? So you're going to sell her on every single piece in the set because if you don't sell her on every single piece in the set, is she going to get the set? No. You have to sell them on every single tool in the set, guys. You have to. It is the most important part. Okay? So if you like go through the certain things and you're like, do you ever do peeling? You know, do you ever do top strawberries? Okay, find something else that she's going to use before you move on to the next piece. Does that make sense? Okay. So you go through everything. So really quick, I'll do mine like just to show you guys, okay? And then you can write down what you like about it. And then you guys put it in your white book as you feel. Uh, necessary. So, very nice, Mrs. Jones. You ever like tops or strawberries or bananas? Um, you like peeling jobs, stuff like that? Okay, cool. So, this is going to be what you use for like your peeling and stuff like that. But it's not good for like your hand sized fruits and like your soft veggies. So, that's why we have our trimmer. Your trimmer is going to be used for like your tomatoes, cucumbers, like your soft vegetables, also your hand sized fruits. So, things like lemons, limes, and oranges, stuff like that. Now, it's not good for spreading. That's why we have your spatula spreader. So, you make your kids lunch in the morning. Awesome, Mrs. Jones, this is saving a ton of time and energy. You, know, you can spread the peanut butter or jelly, it's super flexible, you can cut the uh, bread off, you know, if you need to cut the crust off, that kind of thing. Now, obviously, Mrs. Jones, this is not going to be great for carving meats. So that's why we have our carving set, okay? You see, guys, what I'm saying? This is your everyday carving set. Your everyday carving set is the petite carving and the turning fork. You always want to, like, put those together, okay? This is your everyday carving set, Mrs. Jones. This is for stuff that's going to be under five pounds that you're doing on an everyday basis. Things like a chicken, a steak, a pork loin, that kind of stuff. By the way, guys, you should see her nod during this, too. Like, that's how you know you can move on, too. Like, you'll see your, you know, like, chicken steak, pork, like, she goes, without even thinking about it, kind of thing. Then you know you can move on, okay? This is your everyday carving stuff, okay? Meat's under five pounds. Just your under five pound meat knife, okay? Now, it's not going to be good for watermelons, you know, cantaloupes, stuff like that that's really big. That's why we have our melon knife, okay? Call it the melon knife. Call it the melon knife. Now, the melon knife's going to be used, Mrs. Jones, obviously, for, like, watermelons, honeydews, cantaloupes. You know, do you guys ever do melon stuff like that? Okay, cool. So this is what you use for all that kind of stuff. Um, it's not going to be good for like your chopping, <coughs> that's when you have our chopper in your set, or your chef knife. You know, really the melon knife's in your set, Mrs. Jones, to protect this guy right here. So this is strictly going to be for all your veggies and stuff like that. So you ever like dice, do you like chop, minced veggies, stuff like that? And she's like, yeah, sure, we can do that. Cool, so this is what you use that guy for. Now, it's not great for breads, obviously, Mrs. Jones. That's where we have our slicer. Um, your slicer's going to be good for all your breads, cakes, pies, things like that, Mrs. Jones. Um, also, it's great for like, you guys do a lot of salads? Awesome. It's great for like lettuce, cabbage heads. I mean, you can literally take out a lettuce head in like 10 seconds with this thing. It is awesome. Okay? So that's what you can use for like all your lettuce, cabbage heads. Also, like, you guys do like bread, stuff like that. Cool. Now, it's not great for like your really large meats, Mrs. Jones. That's why we have our over five pound meats. You know, that's your carving set. So, you guys ever do like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter here, that kind of stuff? Okay, cool. So, this is what you're going to use for that kind of stuff. For like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, that kind of stuff. And this is like your carving set for meats that are over five pounds. So like I said, Mrs. Jones, it's really just seven knives, two forks, so that's actually, it's like our most basic stuff, okay? So now that you know it's in the basic set, um, once again, Mrs. Jones, do you think that the small or do you think that the medium is probably just going to be a better set for you and the family, all right? And then you just re-ask the question. Does that make sense to everybody? Do you see how that all flows completely from like start to finish? Does that make sense? That's why they sell so many sets, okay? Because it literally just flows throughout the entire thing, all right? Once you figure that out, right, once you figure that out, when you're on your fast start, if somebody's interested in something, anything like the homemaker or above kind of thing, um, just call into the office as much as you can. Okay, if you have somebody that's interested in a signature set and you get to the close, go over everything in pricing and be like, hey, Mrs. Jones, I'm brand new. Um, since this is one of our larger sets, let me call my manager and see if there's anything that we can do for you. Okay, and just start calling. All right, and Brian will teach you guys how to do that today as well, too. But that's how you sell a lot of sets, okay? So, um, 
you always have to pick a set, right? They're gonna pick whatever set they like, kind of thing. So, does anybody have any questions about anything that went over as far as that goes? What was the? I have a little fire there in the blue. What's the third from last month? The big one. This guy. The one next to it. This guy. Yeah. That's the chef, man. Okay. So it's just like a chopper. Yeah, how much is the? The, the small? No, the ultimate set. The ultimate set is twenty three forty nine. Okay, the ultimate set is twenty three forty nine. The medium set is sixteen ninety nine, and the small set is eleven seventy nine. Okay. Yeah. Does that include or not include the table knives? It includes everything, guys. Okay, so all of our sets include a set of the cutting boards, a sharpener, and everything that you see here. So it's the block, the table knives, and then every single tool that you see here as well. All right. So, those are the main things, right? Then, last, okay, last, I would jot the, down some notes as far as this section goes, okay? I jot down some notes as far as this section goes. So, we're going to talk about a little bit about cookware and flatware, okay? Um, I would write this down really big. If you don't show it, if you don't show it, you can't sell it. I would write that down. If you don't show it, you can't sell it. If you don't show it, you can't sell it. That goes for everything, guys. Okay? That's why you show people everything. I have people all the time that I go see that have had cookware for 10, 15, 20 years. They're like, oh, I didn't know you guys did cookware. I'm actually in the market for a good set of pants. Which my my job so much easier. Thanks, Mr. Jones. Right? Um, okay. So make sure that you show them everything. If you don't show it, you can't sell it. Um, same thing with our larger sets, guys. When it comes to the cookware and flatware, I'm going to give you guys like a couple main things that you guys can say. If you guys have something that's interested, just call the office. Okay, that's just something that you're gonna learn uh, over the long run. It's just nothing that I can teach you guys in like you know five minutes a day kind of thing. So I'm gonna give you guys the main bullet points that you want to hit on. Okay, if you have somebody that's interested, right, call us because what's gonna happen is we're gonna close them on either a flatware and a set of cookware plus the knife set that you're already you know got them interested in the first place as well. And you guys get all the credit, right? And we do all the work. Cool. All right. So as far as the, uh, let's start with let's start with cookware first. Okay. I'm um, actually there's not cookware. It's so let's start with cookware first. Um, number one, guys, number one, um, we sell a lot of cookware. Okay, we sell a lot of cookware. Okay, the cookware has been around forever. All right. It's been around forever. It, like, the concept has actually been around longer than the knives have. So this is one that I always like to use. Cutco's cookware, Mrs. Jones. Cutco's cookware is Cutco's best kept secret. Cutco's cookware, Mrs. Jones, is Cutco's best kept secret. I mean, literally, guys, it's better than knives are. I know that's crazy to like think about and say, but it is better than knives are. Just to give you guys like a teaser, um, you can bake a cake on top of a range in one of our pans. Yes, like don't have no oven, no like you literally put it in a pan with all the mixing on top of a stove, and you can bake a pan on top of a stove like on a range. It's freaking awesome. Okay. Um, so, Cutco's cookware is Cutco's best kept secret. You know, like I said, guys, it's, it's frankly, it's better than knives are. Um, so basically, the way that the cookware works, guys, the way the cookware works, so you guys can jot down, like, anything that you want from here, but the main things are what I have started here at the top, and you guys will see me cover those for the most part. So, Mrs. Jones, the way that the uh, cookware works, it's called low moisture, guys. It's called low moisture or waterless cookware. It's called low moisture or waterless cookware. Low moisture or waterless, okay? Low moisture and waterless cookware. Okay, so basically, guys, what happens is like, Mrs. Jones, you cook broccoli or carrots, right? She's like, oh, I do broccoli. You're like, okay, cool. So or, let's say you're gonna cook broccoli, right? Normally, you take a big pot of water, right? You boil all the water, you heat it up, and you go to pour it out, right? You guys know that like greenish, like murky, kind of cloudy water that comes out whenever you dump out when you've been boiling. Do you guys know what you're dumping out when you dump out all that stuff? Yeah, like all the nutrients, like everything that you're trying to like keep in the broccoli. Okay, I definitely don't eat broccoli because it tastes good. I eat it because it's really healthy for me. All right. So the biggest thing with low moisture cookware, guys, is say you want to cook broccoli, right? All you would do is take the broccoli, you like rinse it off under the sink, and then you throw it in the pot with uh, either no water, or, like sometimes my mom does like a tiny splash of water kind of thing, and you put the top on. And what it does, it creates a water vapor seal. So it actually locks in all the moisture inside your pot when you cook your food. So instead of cooking your food in a pool of water, it cooks in its own condensation. So number one, it's a lot healthier for you. It's a lot healthier for you. You retain about 95% nutrients with low moisture cooking, okay? So we're cooking condensation? It's basically like cooking through condensation. Yeah, you're actually using like the steam and the condensation and like water from the food that's in there naturally to cook your food. So that's why it retains all the nutrients. 
it obviously tastes a lot better. It obviously tastes a lot better. It looks a lot nicer because you're not sapping all the color and all that kind of stuff as well too, right? The way that it actually cooks, guys, like how many of you guys, um, you, let me go ahead and, you know, you guys probably heard this. How many of you guys uh, know what Alclad is? You guys know what Alclad is? Okay, Alclad is like our other really high quality brand that's like your competitor as far as like cook, uh, cookware goes. Like it's what you would find at Williams, there's no, uh, that kind of stuff, okay? So, as far as, uh, as far as that goes with all clad, if you took a lighter, right, and held it under a bottom all clad or like any really nice professional clipware for five seconds and then touched it, you're gonna burn yourself. Okay? If you hold a lighter under 30 seconds for a low moisture cookware and then you touch it, it's gonna be really warm, but you're not gonna burn yourself. Okay? The reason why is because we use something that's really expensive. It's what's called an aluminum core. Okay? An aluminum core, what it does is it actually distributes the heat throughout the entire pot. So normally when you're cooking, guys, in like a pan, when you cook eggs, it only cooks from the bottom up, right? When our cookware cooks the broccoli, it cooks from the top down, the sides in, and the bottom up. So when it cooks, it reduces your cooking time by 50% as well, too. Okay? And you never turn it to high. You only ever turn it to low to medium heat. All right? And it's super easy to clean, by the way. It is ridiculous. It's dishwasher safe. Literally. Uh, you can't really tell me there's a lot of professional paper that out there that is dishwasher safe. Okay. Um, these last couple things, guys, um, we don't use any harmful non-stick coating, but it is non-stick if used properly. Uh, a lot of you guys, there are a lot of you guys are going to ask that question. Okay. So, like, is it non-stick? No, Mrs. Jones, it's not non-stick. By the way, if they have non-stick, they should get a set of companies to Okay. Um, I'm not going to talk about that right now, but if you want to ask me some questions after this, I can tell you more about that. Okay. Um, so it isn't non-stick, but it is still non-stick if you use it properly and you cook the right way, okay? Um, you can actually stack the pans on top of each other as well, too. So, like, there's a couple of our pots where, like, so, like, you're cooking on Thanksgiving, right? You have, like, all your, like, ears of corn, and you're standing up in, like, a high dome baking dish to cook. You can actually take, like, the beans, if you're out of, like, burners on your stove, you can take the beans and set them on top of your corn that's cooking, and it'll actually conduct heat evenly throughout both the pots. The cookware is awesome, guys. I mean, it's literally, like I said, it's the best stuff that's out there. I mean, it's guaranteed forever. It's dishwasher safe. I mean, it is freaking awesome. All right? So there's three main sets of cookware. Okay? There's three main sets of cookware. Okay? There's a small, medium, and a large, just like I told you guys about earlier. Okay? <coughs> there's a small, a medium, and a large. Okay? The cookware, guys, the cookware, okay? When they, you can tell your customers this, too. When they package together, okay, when they package together, cookware, flatware, cutlery, any of those three together, okay, it allows us from us being able to give them like a 10 to 20% discount for us to give them like a 30 to 35% discount at that point, okay? So promote that to them. You know, tell them, hey, Mr. Jones, if you decide that you ever want, if you decide that you want to knock out some cookware and the cutlers that you're interested in, you know, instead of us giving you a 10 to 20%, you actually give you a 30%. This is why so many people get sets. Like, I just want you guys to realize this. This is why so many people get sets, okay? Because it's just something that you literally get once, use every single day for the rest of your life. It is the highest quality stuff out there, and it's guaranteed forever. I mean, just literally you don't think about it ever again, all right? So that's the biggest thing about our cookware. As far as our flatware goes, guys, as far as our flatware goes, okay, our flatware is awesome as well, okay? Um, the biggest thing about our flatware, I would highlight that it's 1810 stainless steel. I would highlight that it's 1810 stainless steel, okay? There's three different types of stainless, just so you guys know. There's 1806, 1808, and 1810. Okay, which one do you think is the highest quality that we use? 1810, okay? Um, it's guaranteed forever, okay? What that means, okay, is a couple of different things. One, most people, whenever they have to go buy new flatware, it's because they lost a piece or it went down the garbage disposal, okay? If it goes down the garbage disposal, what do they do with Cutco? Yeah, they just send it back and give them a brand new fork, spoon, whatever they messed up kind of thing. So that's the first thing. So they don't have to go buy like a full setting. Realize, guys, that when you lose one of your mom's, like, forks, spoons, knives, here's what generally happens, right? She has to go online. She has to search through, like, literally 15 to 20 different websites, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that, to find the discontinued brand that you guys probably have that she got when she got married 10 years ago, 15 years ago, kind of thing, right? She has to buy it at a premium because it's discontinued at this point. And you can't just buy the one fork, the one spoon, the one knife that you need. You have to buy the full setting. Okay, so generally a full setting of 1810 is going to retail like 200 or 210 bucks per set. So it's not like something that you can just like go out and do. Like it's not like something that's cheap to replace your flatware. Okay, so with Cutco's, right, you just literally can come back and just buy that one fork, that one spoon, that one knife, whatever the case being that you're missing. Does that make sense? Cool. Um, so 
That's the number one thing. On the same kind of lines, the style is guaranteed never to change. Okay, it's a timeless design, meaning that we've had it for the last 20, 30, 40 years and it's been in style, so it's gonna be in style for the next 20, 30, 40 years down the road as well too. Okay? Everything matches to that point. You know, you never have to have any flatware that doesn't match anymore. You literally have a full set of matching flatware. Okay, for you guys, like guys, matching is a, is a big word for the women. Okay, they like things to match in their kitchen everywhere, actually, for that matter. Okay. Um, it's scratch resistant, guys. It's scratch resistant. It's super light. You know, it's not like big bulky flatware. Okay, it's like really, really light. All right. So, and it's scratch resistant, you know, stain resistant, all that kind of stuff as well, too. So, that's the biggest thing about the flatware. The flatware, guys, um, I would write this down the flatware. We're actually running on a special right now where it's literally almost a like 40 or 50% discount, I think, at this point. Um, normally, I think broken down, it's like, don't quote me on this, it's like 17 48 when you break it all down piece by piece, okay? Um, that's not including the uh, that's not including the chest that comes in. Um, with the chest, now it's sold in a 60, it's basically 60 pieces, so it's 12 settings of 5 pieces. So you get two forks, two spoons, and the stainless steel table knife, which is so sexy, alright? Um, so you get those 5 pieces, and it's 12 piece settings, so it's 60 pieces total, okay? The retail is only $11.99, okay? So it ends up being about 100 bucks per setting. So it's literally half the price of what you're going to spend in stores for flatware. But it's also guaranteed forever, and our flatware is dishwasher safe as well, too. Cool? Does so anybody have any questions about anything that I went over throughout this entire workshop? So, so going back to the uh, cookware um, along with the knives, you said we can't, we can come out and immediately say, hey, if you get decide to get filled with sets, yeah, like um, they're we like, give you 30%. Sure, or yeah. Or you like, want us to call the office first and to confirm that before we say that. No, so basically here's how it works, guys. When they put something like cookware and flatware together, cookware and cutlery, you basically turn into a package. So we package everything together and basically we can give a bigger discount on top of it. So if you like, if you talk about the cooker and she's like, oh, that sounds really interesting. I definitely want to hear about like some more about that kind of thing. Or she says something along those lines kind of thing, right? Be like, cool, Mrs. Jones. Well, if you're interested in that, um, I you know I definitely want to call my manager because uh, he told me that we can actually get you a package deal where we can actually instead of give you like 10, 20%, we can give you like 30% off and above. I have no idea about pricing or anything like that. I just started, I'm brand new. Let me just call him and ask him a couple questions, see if there's anything you can do for you, that kind of stuff. Okay. Cool? And then just give it to him. Okay. Cool. It's like flat work, cook work, guys, that kind of thing on your first weekend, first weekend, first 10 days, first month, two months on the job, just call. Um, the cookware, yeah. does it also come with that 15 day guarantee? Yeah, everything, everything in the book that comes with a 15 day guarantee. Yeah, so a lot of times, the cook by the way guys, like people love our cookware, okay? You guys all know who Brad Cooper is, right? He's one of my customers, he owns a set of the cookware, okay? People love this stuff, all right? And they use it all the time. So, like it's not something the cookware, it almost never is. I've never had something like cookware, it just doesn't happen. Um, it's just so awesome, so. Yeah, everybody starts using it and they just keep it forever, so. Yeah, but they do have 15 years to try it out if they want to. Yeah, cool. Do so we have any other questions? What's one of the biggest, like, two biggest mistakes that we can make? Um, this weekend? Yeah, not this weekend, but in our first, like, month that we, you know, tried to the board. Um, you guys need to make sure, I would write this down. You guys need to make sure that you're asking for recommendations on every single point that you do. Okay? I didn't mention this yesterday, um, but if you guys, like, I mean, I'm, most of you guys are PRs of people that have done this for a really long time. Okay? You guys want to know why they've been able to do this for a really long time? Because they always have people to see, because they always ask for recommendations and they're really good at asking for them. Okay, if this is something that you want to do for longer than one summer, like if you can see yourself being in management and that type of role kind of a thing, you need to get really good at asking for recommendations. I mean, straight up, dude, you could suck at everything else. I mean, you could literally suck at everything else, and Cutco is so awesome. If you're good at recommendations, you're gonna stay with this job for a long time. And Brian can teach us that. You guys, you gotta get recommendations today. Okay. So the second, the, kind of along the same lines, and I'll give you like one last tip, right? Along the same lines, you guys, okay, if you want to be really successful, you get page 21, which is the recommendations page. Memorize as soon as you possibly can, okay? I mean, like within the first five days of the job, okay? The reason why, okay, the reason why is that when you're seeing your best people, are your best people going to refer to your other, like, their best people? Yeah. You know what I mean? So you want to get really good at asking recommendations as soon as you possibly can. Because if you're going to be seeing your best people first, you want to get their best people from your best people. Does that make sense? Cool. Um, so that's kind of like along the same lines. The second thing, okay, the second thing, guys, is just calling for the office. Okay? You need to make sure that you call them for the office. And I mean, like, on every single appointment. And after every single appointment. Okay? You will sell more Cutco if you call them for the office on every single demo. Now, how many of you guys, how many guys know Luis? Did anybody bring you guys? Okay, Luis calls in on every single demo he does. Um, 
No, uh, Aguilar. Aguilar, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He sold like seven grand last week on his fast start. Okay, he literally called in from every single appointment he did. I got calls from that kid at 12 o'clock at night doing an appointment on my personal line. Okay, and I don't, by the way, guys, we don't mind that. Okay, that's awesome. It's like Midnight Express. We love that. All right. Um, so, call in on after the appointment. Week, okay, after the appointment. Take some time, okay, and reflect on what you think you could have done better. Or like why, like why, what happened, what happened kind of thing. And then talk to Brian about that whenever you guys have your coaching call, okay? Because like I said, guys, you know, like we've all been there before. You know, we've also a lot of we've all done this for a really long time. So I guarantee you guys, like, if something's happened to you, it's definitely happened to a lot of us kind of thing. All right, and we're gonna be able to help you, okay? Does anybody have any questions or anything else? Good? Cool. Oh. There's so, I was, it's not necessarily about the cookware or anything, sure. but one of my teachers was actually interested in Kepco, mm -hmm. and I was talking to her about setting up an appointment, and then sure. she was like, oh, like, what if I, like, brought over, like, four or five of my friends and, like, all so that. Here's, here's oh, so, yeah, so you guys are getting that a lot of times, people want to, like, help you out kind of thing. Okay, here's the deal. So you're like, Mrs. Jones, um, I would love that, right? I would love that. Nothing make me happier. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that. I'll tell you what though, I actually get scholarship credit for every single appointment I do. So when I get there, if you could help me out by maybe giving me some of those people that you were thinking about, that would help me out more than like anything else or even if you bought something with me kind of thing. Because like I said, I get credit just to show it to you and show it to anybody else as well too. So keep those in your head and whenever I come see you, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that because that actually counts for scholarship credit as me for as well. So if you guys don't know this yet, but you actually can get scholarship credit um, to pay for like books, school supplies, stuff like that just for getting recommendations through people. Pretty sweet. Okay, so um, that's how you handle that. All right, and I would not do a group demo. Okay, especially when you're brand new. Um, I mean, guys, I've sold 200 grand. And I still go see people single. Um, I just feel like here's my here's the best way I can put it. Do you go to buy a car with all your friends? No. Do you anybody does anybody go to buy really expensive things with all the, like everybody their whole family? No. So you don't got to buy cut that with everybody else either. Makes sense. So cool. Okay, so that's the biggest thing. Just make sure you guys, at that point, you already know that you're going to get a lot of recommendations too. So just make sure that you plant that seed and talk about that later. Cool? Okay, I have one question. What's up? Um, my question is if you get a lot of the QPRs, is that like going to hurt you? What do you mean? Help you? Like, because I know he's saying that's like the quit playing around thing. Like, if you don't get a sale, but you get all these people that want to actually see the product. Sure. But if they don't. I would much rather, I would much rather, um, have a no sale and get 10 really, really quality recommendations. Here's the deal, guys. I know that if I get 10 really, really quality recommendations, okay, even if I sold that person zero, it's still worth my time. Because here's the deal. Of those 10 people that they wrote down, I'm probably going to go sell those people like three or four grand at the very least kind of thing. You know what I mean? So, like, I'll go do a demo with somebody that says, like, oh, I'm not thinking about buying or, oh, I'm not going to buy anything. I, I just had somebody come by, like, last year. Number one, they're probably going to buy something, right? Number two is that they're definitely going to give me recommendations as well because if they if they say they're not going to buy anything, they're probably going to give you recommendations anyways, too. So just go see those people. And you're going to be seeing people that will be able to give you recommendations of their best people and those people buy a lot of people, too. So, yeah. Always walk out of the house with recommendations. That's probably like the biggest thing I give you. Like, just don't leave without getting like, at least five. Does the customer ever deny you recommendations? It's so rare, dude. I mean, Brian will talk about it. It's just so rare. I mean, it happens like, I mean, it's kind of like sales. You know, it's kind of like the sales. Like, 90% of people are always going to buy, or I'm part of like, 80% of people always buy, 10% of people, or I'm sorry, 80% of people buy through influence, 10% of people will always buy, 10% of people will just never buy in America. Who does the demo? It's kind of the same thing with the recommendations. 10% of people are always going to give you 10%, or always going to give you recs. 80% of people will give you recs as long as you, you know, give it a lot of uh, influence for your approach, that kind of stuff. And then 10% of people, they're just never going to recommendations. It doesn't matter if I do, it doesn't matter if Brian does it, you know, same thing. So, cool? Alright, does anybody have any other questions before we wrap this up? No? Alright, you guys are good? There's some more donuts in here, so if you guys want any donuts, go ahead.